Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to talk about the find and recode function, which I like a lot. It has saved me a lot of time when I'm going to uh, go back and uh, say review some work and I've found some errors in the coding and then um, rather than like you had to in the past in other systems you'd have to go back um, and either post a journal to make a correction on a bunch of transactions in which it may not be clear uh, what the journal is for especially when you're looking at a source transaction um, or if you wanted to go back and correct the individual source transactions you'd have to go in one by one and make all the recodes which would just take a lot of time so this function is fantastic so what it allows you to do is basically go in and uh, run a search on your accounts on your transactions based on a set of criteria um, and then it allows you to uh, review any changes that need to be made and then make a bulk recode to the source transaction with the click of a button. It is very fast. Um, so at the top here, we're in the find and recode now, and you saw there it's under the accounting menu, the advanced section down the bottom there. And there's a bit of a help menu here as well, and it just gives a quick summary where it says you can find and select an entire group of transaction lines and recode them. You can alter accounts, tax rates, tracking codes, and more. So let's get rid of the help. Um, and we'll click on the find and recode button here and I'll show you what the functions are within it. Okay, so at the top here, it says we, uh, find, we can find transaction lines that match all or any of the following criteria, the following conditions. I, would, I normally work off all so that I just... Uh, so it's a bit narrow in um, I'm picking up exactly what I want and nothing I don't want. And in here, you've got a, a great big list of things, type, status, account, so on. So let's have a look at, at something that might be quite common. You're gonna go in, you've realized that uh, you have a bunch of transactions that have gone through to a certain account. Um, we're gonna say this account is, so it gives you the choice to select is or is not. So we're going to say account is advertising in this example. We'll select that. Now, if we click search now, this is quite logical. So if we click search now, it will bring up every single transaction that's gone to advertising. Um, it will only pick up transactions after when a hard lock date is set. So if you've set a hard lock at the 30th, June, 30th of June last year, it will only pick up transactions after that date. Um, or if you base it on an account is not advertising, it'll pick up everything else, but not the ones that are code to advertising. So in this case, we're going to go, we're looking for advertising expenses because we know we've done a bunch of expenses and we know they went through as GST. Um, but then we've gone back later, um, in this hypothetical example, and we've realized that our supplier is not registered for GST. They're just a small business. They're earning under 75K a year, K a year so they don't need to register for GST. But we incorrectly um, coded it to GST. And it, it could have been, say, well, we'll do the search here. We'll add another condition and we'll say tax code. We know um, that we've only had one supplier for advertising in this example. Um, and they are GST free. So we're gonna say a tax rate that is not GST free expenses, because the GST free expense is what it should be. So we wanna pick up everything in the search that it shouldn't be. So it's gonna pick up everything that's going to advertising and anything that's going to any tax code that is not GST free. So here we are, here's our list. And there's only three items here. But let's just pretend that there was a hundred items, a hundred bits of advertising expenses that went through to the wrong tax code. Now you can go in here, you can click on anything and it will open up the transaction so you can have a closer look. And then when we're satisfied for this example, we'll say, okay, we can see here, all these are going to, through to GST on expenses. 
We know that this contact stitcher brand is registered for GST. So we're not going to recode that, but we know that Smart Agency is not registered for GST, but it has incorrectly gone through as GST on expenses. And there's only two items here, but if there was a hundred items and you were gonna go through, open up every single transaction, and then go bill edit, and then also if they had payments applied to the bill, this is an unpaid bill, but if it had payments applied to a bill, you'd have to delete the payment before you can edit it across all the values. It will allow you to edit some things uh, when it's got a payment applied to it, but not everything. So that can slow you down even more. And then you select all the ones that were applicable and you click recode. And we're going to say the contact is no, don't change because that's the correct contact. The account don't change because account advertising is the correct account. But the tax rate, it should be GST free on expenses, not GST on expenses. So we'll go GST free on expenses, click review. And it'll just uh, give us a little warning here. But if you're happy with that, you click confirm. And you can say it's recoding two lines affecting two transactions. So when the whether you got two items we've recoded here, it could have been a hundred. We could have recoded the source transaction in every single transaction within a matter of seconds. So it is very much a powerful function and a massive time saver. We can go back to the search by clicking this. Now, as I was saying before, it's very, very logical. So you can basically go through and set it up per whatever it may be. You can go type, is or is not, what type of invoice or bill or spend money or whatever it may be is it, is or is not status. You can do a search on awaiting approval, draft, and so forth. Account we just looked at. The bank account, what account was it paid from for spend money and that sort of thing, receive money. The date, if you don't wanna, if you know that the items were only within, a, or if you wanna search on a bunch of items that were maybe for one quarter only, you'd select the dates to pick up that quarter only, not for the whole year. The transaction amount, the tax rate, who it's been entered by, if you know that a particular user did a whole bunch of transactions or you just wanna check, a whole bunch of transactions by a particular user. Then you can go back and have a look at that. The contact, invoice number and region. Region is your job coding or your tracking. So you can look at all the items that were job coded or tracked to the east side and do a search on that. And then you might go through and realize that a bunch of these or you can select all. You might realize that um, a bunch of these were coded to the east side tracking category incorrectly. And you'd have to go add region here and they should have actually been the north side region. So you can do things like that as well. So as you can see guys, this is a massive time saver and I use it all the time. If you're confident in uh, what you're looking for, if you know what you're trying to find, all you have to do is think through this very, very logically, add your conditions as you go and then review the transactions, select the ones that need to be recoded, and then do it all with a click of the button. It's fantastic. Anyway guys, that's it for the video. If you've got any questions, if you think there's anything I might have gone over a little bit too quick in this video, hit me up in the comments section. I'll see if I can get back to you and, um, and work out what you need to do. If you're looking for a training session, you can go to our website. There's a uh, description in the, a link in the description rather. 
you can book in a training session. We can come out and do um, some staff training for you and your business or whatever it may be for Zero or Myob or, or Microsoft Office and that sort of thing. But other than that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.